dystopian times. So just to give you some background on Nick Fuentes, he is perhaps the world's first booger eating Nazi. No. And I've, I've brought the receipts. No. When I speak to the fans, it's okay. No. And yeah. Nope. nope. Yep. Nom, nom, nom. Why? Literally Why? ate a booger during a live stream. Listen, folks, Absolutely. if for okay. whatever reason I did that, I wouldn't stream ever again. Sorry, Vadim. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it's okay. I was just wondering if you've ever seen his defense of, of this moment. He has this hysterical, uh, I actually tweeted it out like a side-by-side -side comparison. It's, 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 it's a lot like JFK with, you know, the magic bullet. Um, but, but he, he basically like, he, he did this whole thing where he was like, uh, you can clearly see that I go in this way, and you can't pick your nose that way. And like, like, like he, he, it was. And if you look at the side by side comparison, I mean, in, in this is one. This has not been photoshopped. This is not a. Uh, it, it it just right. speaks for it. It speaks for itself. He's really, really eating his own boogers live. Not only that, he had a sudden nosebleed on air once. So I, 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 yes, yes, it, it, it's, it's out there. <laughs> and so I just think that he's, he, I think this nose picking thing is more than a problem for him. So oh my just, God. just a little bit yeah. too hard. <laughs> yep. How did I not know about the nosebleed? I, I'm yeah, literally look, look, getting queasy. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's like, you know, the hiccups. It's like, uh, Whatever deity slash deities there are are like fuck these guys, and he's just making like blood shoot out this guy's nose and giving other guys like endless hiccups. <laughs> I I don't know what's happening to the far right around the world. I have to say I like it, even though it is disgusting and it's gross uh, grossing me out. Um, I'm so sorry. So the chat is saying Justin is saying stop. Okay, I think I, I can't promise this. I believe that's all of the disgusting content that we're getting to. But all of that was a setup for this. So I know that you all saw this by now. So this is Nick Fuentes' entrance, entrance to CPAC. So <laughs> this is his gang of groipers. Before you even start it, can I just uh, it, like, like just keep it paused here? Because no, 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 don't, don't, don't zoom out. Look, okay. look, look, look on, on the right. I mean, they're like, like if you look at, at, at just, uh, I, I, I paused <laughs> that, that, that guy, the guy next to him who's sort of out of frame. Uh, really, mm. if you look at a bunch of these people, I'm positive that at least 20% of them have not hit puberty yet, possibly, possibly including Nick Fuentes. But, um, yeah. you know, I, I just I just want to say, I think that if you're maybe there should be a law in place that you should have at least four pubes before you're allowed to hang out with like a hate group. <laughs> but anyway, go ahead. Let's wa let's bring the torture on. OK, folks, uh, I present to you the master race folks. Okay, that I have to analyze a little bit further. That right there, when it's like, yeah, mom made spaghetti. <laughs> um, and, and furthermore, like, I just have to, this this has to be a 10-year-old. Like, th there's no way. I mean, as, as you were saying, Vadim, like, there's no way this individual has even um, passed pu puberty yet. Like, these are really young people. And this is, like, the the master race. It's I mean. terrifying. Yeah. They're not, it, they're not sending their best. But they're, they're not sending their best. But they're if, sending their youngest. <laughs> if a group that looked like this walked into a bar, I would cover my drinks. Yeah. 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 But uh, see, the thing is, they're not even eligible to go to bars because right. there's no way they're even like... They're, if they entered with their mothers, <laughs> I would cover my drinks. <laughs> like if I, if I were still working at Walmart and they came in to purchase an M-rated game, I would ask either to see their ID or have their mom come with them to buy it because <laughs> they all look super young. And when I think about Nazis, I think about like this really intimidating, like scary group of people. But this is like, these are children. It's, yeah. it's crazy. It's crazy to me. It's like these kids and the Tiki torches in Charlottesville. And it's like, 
they're both scary and also like pathetic mm -hmm. and you like almost kind of feel bad and want to offer them therapy just because it's so pathetic but then you realize that they're fucking nazis that's the thing it's like on one hand and, and i'm torn i want to bully them like these are kids who are terrible but you know, on, on another hand, they're they're young, and I I truly hope that they're gonna look back at this moment and cringe, because at you know when when I was young, I mean I wasn't a Nazi, but I had a lot of bad takes. I was raised evangelical, you know, raised in the church, very Christian, and and I look back and I think, wow, it's weird, it's hard to believe that I held all of those views. So I'd like to think that these individuals are going to change too. Yeah, I just so I it, it it looks like the like a scene from the worst '80s sex comedy ever. Um, <laughs> you know, you know, like all those like 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 screwballs and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I I'm 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 like more of a boomer than uh, I look probably. So so I remember <laughs> I I remember those. Maybe the Zoomers don't. But um, yeah, just just uh. I, I have to wonder if some of these guys with the Hawaiian shirts, because there's more of them than just the ones we see here, uh, if it's a Boogaloo Boys, like a mm -hmm. Graper uh, Boogaloo Boy conglomeration that we have here, um, it's just a lot of sadness. See, yeah. I can't even take that name seriously, <laughs> like Boogaloo Boys. I can't, I can't. Right. It's like funny and sad at the same time. Yeah, and I'm a little bit uh, pissed, or a lot pissed, I should say, that they ruined Hawaiian shirts. Like, I have Hawaiian shirts that I really like. My family's all from Hawaii, so it's like it, it's it's been in my life forever. And now whenever I wear it, I think, is somebody going to think I'm a Boogaloo boy? Like, it's a little bit, you know, it makes me self-conscious. And these fuckheads ruined it. Not these uh, in particular. Well, this guy, perhaps. Um, or I should say this young man who's like 12, probably. But, um, you know, it's a little bit uh, frustrating. But uh, let's go ahead and watch a little bit more of this because they then go on to harass a salon I, I, reporter. I just want to say real quickly, like, I agree with you. The Hawaiian shirts thing is is a tragedy, but they can they can keep the wraparound Oakley sunglasses like that. Oh, is yeah. just a Nasty look. So I, I, I do not care that they have appropriate appropriated that. I, I would actually agree with that. Um, <laughs> although uh, now that you mentioned that, I think that the company... Uh, they did something. I don't know if they issued a cease and desist. I might be misremembering that, but they don't like that their sunglasses are associated with Nazis. I mean, who would have thought that, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's the second video where he actually does harass. Oh, here we go. So this is okay. him harassing the salon re uh, reporter. And the mm -hmm. salon reporter actually looks genuinely intimidated. I mean, I look, I can't say what I would do. I'm, I'm very conflict averse. But if a, a crowd approached me of like, kids like this yeah. i mean i feel like i would have the instinct to like put one of them in a headlock and give them a fucking noogie or something sure let me uh <laughs> a noogie right i mean that's what yeah, you do no, the, uh, the, I, I i'm not for bullying but all of these people deserve to be just, just crunched into lockers they deserve <laughs> mega wedgies <laughs> um, I, I, bl I believe they called them leghorns. I don't know why when, when I was a kid, but, um, anyway, go on. <laughs> okay. So we'll, we'll watch a little bit of the, um, there's not much substance here folks, but I'm just amused uh -huh. by this, um, Chad, if you're wondering, but, um, yeah, massive, massive wedgie. Um, who said that? There we go. Collage says, yeah, massive. Absolutely. <laughs> um, okay. Let's watch a little bit of them harassing a salon reporter. Excuse me. Are they drinking Red Bulls? Red Bull or Monster? But America first, conservatives like Nick Fuentes are not. Come back here. We're not. We're not. You do my sideline. Why is your voice? Why are you so squeaky? You told your supporters. Are they just making animal noises now? <laughs> I was going to say, uh, and this is really uncomfortable to watch because 
I, I do feel bad for him because he knows that these are these are children, but they're also Nazis and he doesn't know what to do. He engages and then he immediately re it regrets it. This reminds me of like a South Park skit of like, you know, the, the angry mob with the pitchforks where they're just like screaming they're like, get his ass. Like, I, I just I, I, I've watched this clip now. I've watched like other reactions to the clip and I still don't know what to make of it. It's It's so bizarre to me.